One guy that we know will not be coming here, and that's Sagano. So what happened with the Japanese sensation, and how does he end up staying home instead of coming over here? Well, Harold, it's a great question, and obviously there was much made of the fact that a week ago, Tomoyuki Sugano had, had made the trip from Japan to the U.S. Uh, to meet with his agent, Joel Wolf and, and to speak with teams here. Clearly, at that point in time, the expectation was he was going to sign with a major league team. However, it, it does appear that once the Mets were not going to go in the direction of signing him, the number of interested teams was not maybe as, as numerous or as strong as what was initially anticipated. The Blue Jays do want to get a starting pitcher. However, I was told that, for, interestingly, from the standpoint of Sugano going to Toronto, that, that he would not have wanted to compete directly for a rotation spot with his former Yumiri Giants teammate, Shun Yamaguchi. So that from that standpoint, Toronto would not have been an optimal place for him to go to. So if you take out Toronto, you take out the Mets, the Padres got their pitching elsewhere. There just was not that same level of interest in him. His stuff maybe was not quite as sharp, Harold, in 2020 as it had been in previous years. And so not seeing the right fit from an uh, economic standpoint, he decided then to go back to Japan and sign what, according to Ken Rosenthal, is a very intriguing contract because it has opt-outs after each year of this four-year contract. Importantly, his manager in Tokyo is his uncle, uh, Tatsunori Hara. So he's got a very strong relationship with the manager of his team there where the comfort is very high in, in Tokyo. So when you consider if he was not going to find the right financial fit, you go back, you play for your uncle who's very dear to you and very close to you on a very competitive team in Tokyo. That was always going to be a very good option for Tomoyuki Sugano. So I think that was the choice he made. But Harold and Matt, we may still hear of him one year from now.